Good afternoon, fifth and sixth grade. Miss Solari here demonstrating how to use a double beam, double pan balance. Before beginning how to measure, it's very important that we know the parts. Part one is the needle indicator located here. Parts two and three are the double pans in which your objects will be weighed. It is very important that those pans are clean and not filled with any debris or water since that could mess up the results of our measurement. Parts four and five are the two slide rulers. And part six is the sturdy base at the bottom that lets you know how much could be weighed. Lastly, the two weights that will slide across to let us know how much our object weighs. The first step in measuring with the double beam balance is to make sure that both weights are at zero and that our needle indicator is centered on the black line. The next step is to carefully place the object on one of the pans. Did you notice how the left side went all the way down like a teeter-totter? This is demonstrating that it is heavier and now it is the scientist's job to, to use the two weights located here and here to balance the other side of the double beam balance scale to get an accurate weight of the steel block. Now begin to add your weight 10 grams at a time. Starting with the bottom, you'll be able to hear the groove fit into each. All right, so we know that this object, steel block, weighs less than 50 grams. Now that this side of the scale is down below, indicating that the weight added has more mass than the object. We'll carefully lower it to 40 and begin to slowly add a little more weight until the needle indicator lines up almost perfectly. Now, boys and girls, let's take a look. 40 grams added and we're not quite at 45. I'm sorry, boys and girls. We're not quite at, yes, 45. So let's take a look. Let's count the tick marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this steel block weighs 40 plus four plus 0.7 for a total of 44.7 grams.